Hello students, Miss Lockhart here. I am very excited to make this super neat ammonite painting with you all. We're gonna start today by sketching and outlining our drawing. But first, let's practice spirals. The spiral is how we are going to make our beautiful ammonite, which is a cool prehistoric fossil. Okay, so to practice spirals, you're gonna need your sketchbook or piece of paper and a pencil. And you need to write the letter E, lowercase. And then at the bottom where the E comes out, bring a line that circles around the E toward the left. Now I'm making mine get really big and it even is behind my letters. I'm gonna do another one. A little E and then from the end of the E I'm gonna take my line and bring it to the left around the E around and around again see how many times you can do it okay let's make a little E and then bring the end of the E around to the left go around again and now this time make the space get a little bit bigger with each loop around I'll show you again Okay, a little E and then let's make this oh well, the space is actually really small in this one isn't it so you can practice different types of spirals you can do tight tight little spirals like that with a little bit of space or you can make the space get larger as you make your rings around the spiral here's another one go ahead and just keep making little spirals big spirals skinny spirals large spirals Okay, let me do another one here. An E, and then it's gonna get bigger around each loop. Do you see that? The first loop has less space, the second has more, and the third has even more space between the row before it. So it goes small to large. It's just so fun to practice making spirals. Just keep doing it until you fill up your page. You can even overlap some if you love making spirals starts to get easier and easier the more you practice okay well now that we have our pencil ready and we've got that muscle memory of how to draw a spiral we're gonna get started on a loose piece of paper that's thicker than computer paper because we will be putting watercolor paint on it you'll need crayons or oil pastels I will be using oil pastels and they look like this you only need two colors of oil pastels. You can choose your two favorite colors. Now these are just for outlining these, the drawing we make. And then we'll add a little bit of cool detail I'll show you when we, when we get there today. So these are the oil pastels. They're great because they act as kind of like a wall from the watercolor paint. The water cannot pass the oil pastels. It's like resistant it's called water resistant but anyways let's start with our spiral in the middle of our paper draw the lowercase e okay now with each ring around the e we're gonna add a little more space each time you'll see so I'm gonna bring it out away from the letter e so that's not too close see there and now I'm gonna keep going around toward the left and the space is a little bit wider between this line and the one before it. And it's going to get even more wide the further out. And the bigger the ring, the bigger the circle, the more space between the circle before it. Okay, so when it comes off the page like this, anywhere it might come off the page, stop drawing. And then draw a curved line connecting to wherever it is off the page to the spiral and make sure it's a curved line awesome look at that beautiful ammonite outline we've just created now we're gonna add lots of curved lines that create a pattern now the curve is gonna be the same kind of curve same direction as the one you did first and you want to bring these curves all the way around and around into the inside of your spiral keeping the same direction of a curve so you see how i'm still curving the same way i was before i'm just moving through 
my spiral. It's kind of fun. You might even like to rotate your paper if it's easier for you to continue this pattern. Now it's really starting to look like our prehistoric ammonite. Very cool. So continue doing that until you get all the way to the inside of the spiral. Now it does get a little bit harder, but that's okay, you can do it. And it does not need to look perfect or anything like mine. As long as you're creating a pattern inside your spiral, I'll be happy with lines. Okay guys, great job. Keep it up and you can pause the video too if you need more time. Okay, well now that I've done my outline, I am ready. I'm sorry, now that I've done my drawing, I'm ready for my outline, which is where I'm going to use the oil pastel, or you might be using crayons at home. So I'm going to pick out my favorite color, oil pastel, and it can be any color. It doesn't have to be the actual color of an ammonite, which is probably brown. We are going to use fun colors. These are my two that I've picked, purple and light blue. One will be for the outline. And so you want to press down kind of hard with either one of these, oil or crayon. You really want a dark line. You might even find going back over the line a second time is what you should do. If you can see through your line and you can see the paper through your line, definitely go over it a second time. And slowly outline. You do not need to rush. And it's okay if you mess up a little bit and outline it a little differently from your drawing. That'll be just fine. It'll look great just like you made it. It's unique. Okay, so now I'm gonna outline my curved lines. You can outline your curved lines in a different color if you want. I'm gonna stick with purple and then I'm gonna add the blue in a different way in just a second. So go ahead and outline all of your curved lines now. Okay, we've outlined all of our curved lines on the inside of our spiral. Now it's time for the second color. Now I'm gonna use a light color for this part. I recommend you use a light color, so don't use black or dark, dark purple or blue. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of coloring. I'm not coloring in all of it, am I? I'm just coloring the inside middle of my ammonite. It's just a fun little bit of detail. It's kind of like a zigzag line that's really close together. I'm just going back and forth with my oil pastel all the way around, leaving some white paper though. I want to leave white paper so that there's room for some paint. So don't fill it all in. Just go through the middle of your spiral and add an extra color. Or not, if you decide not to, if you like it the way it is, I'm okay with that. But do leave white paper for next week because we're gonna be painting it. Cool, well, 
that's looking about done to me. I hope you had fun drawing along with me and save your drawing for next week because we have a lot of fun to have with this art project again next week. Thank you everybody. Bye now.